we were not, uh, when we originally scheduled this, we were not really thinking that we would get this many people, obviously. Uh, right now, there appears to be as many people outside the room as inside the room. What I would like to do, and I hope some of the people outside the room can hear me, I know I'm loud, uh, what I would like to do is let DCR do a short presentation at this point, and then we would like to uh, reschedule this meeting for a larger venue at a later date. I hope everybody can understand the situation we're finding ourselves in right now. This was just a regularly scheduled Ware River Watershed Advisory Committee meeting, and you know, we don't get this many people at our meetings usually. <laughs> So, uh, I, I, I appreciate everybody's coming here tonight. I really do. I do want you guys to come back. Oh, we will. Okay? Uh, we just want to be able to fit everybody. Yes, sir, in the back. We have a one hand I don't think it's fair to reschedule it in July and August. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't want to reschedule it in July and August. I want to get this going. Believe me, uh, just to let you guys know, a lot of the people, myself included, are probably more on your side than you realize. So, uh, just let you know, I'm going to let DCR do a short presentation. The, uh, the plan they have, I have been told, is on hold, so we do have time, but I am not, we're, we're going to reschedule a meeting. <laughs> We can do with that now. We'll reschedule the meeting now, sir. Sir, please. I want to get... Just one quick question. Are yes, sir. To, until we come to a conclusion to this, are they going to reopen the gates? Because every gate at the prison camp right now is closed. It's closed. Yeah. It's mud season. I think, that, I think that was... I think that's because it's mud season right now. They... they hold on. Hold on. I, I am very familiar with it. <laughs> they usually close the gates during mud season to keep uh, from damaging the roads and everything. This has been a strange winter in that we've had a perpetual mud season. I, I think the roads would have been continued open if we didn't experience the weird weather we've been experiencing. So are they going to be opened after, or is it not going to be opened until the, it comes it's, to a We're decision. going back to the same plan. Uh, I'll let DC. I'm not right. a DCR person, okay. but I, I, from my understanding, they're going back to the same plan that was in place this as past always. year. As always. As always. Okay. Okay. That's my understanding. Okay. I want to let DCR make a, a short presentation. Um, would you like to uh, comment after? Yes, sir. Not around wish to be heard. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so let DCR do their uh, presentation. Shortened. We're not going to take questions, comments, or anything at this point because there are people out there that can't hear anything. So we'll let them do their short presentation. Pat Rutland wants the uh, short, yes sir, short comments, and then we will uh, adjourn our meeting. Um, let's reschedule our meeting right now. For uh, I think this is this calls for like Quabbin Regional. Do you think you can? Uh, there you go. I don't think that. That's a pretty big venue. Yes. About, about Naquag School. Yeah. Uh, let, let's let the ECR handle that. Okay. Okay. Now, let's reschedule our uh, make, schedule a new meeting for some time. Should we do it three weeks from now? It sounds no. like it should know. Let's do it tonight. Well, I want to give time to the folks. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, the problem is, we have to give them time to post it. This is a public meeting. And there are rules to post it. And 
They're going to have to have at least two weeks' notice. And we got to find the uh, make sure the venue is is available. So I think what we'd be talking to Auburn Regional High School. That's the biggest venue that's available that I can think of. One of the schools here in town. Uh, I do you have a? I don't. Who is it? <laughs> My shoe sits outside of the poor town. I'm trying to schedule something in the town. Wabin sounds good. Does Rutland have a big high school? No. Okay. That would be Glenwood School. Glenwood School? Parking would be an issue. Yeah, at least with Bob and the parking wouldn't be so much of an issue. They have plenty of parking there. So, uh, Justin, can you check into uh, Quabbin? And we'll reschedule our meeting. It'll be either at Quabbin or if necessary, we can go to the, where is it, the Rutland School? Hey, come on. We're trying to have a discussion here. Please. It's quiet. Thank you. Who can we coordinate with? I'll check with uh, Justin. Justin over there. He, he usually handles the uh, arrangements for where we meet. So let's exchange cards. Yeah, yeah. Right. We'll find out if that's permissible. I think our first uh, first, first choice, choice would be Rutland. Rutland. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. want Rutland first choice? Yeah. 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 For the park? Absolutely. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Really? You asked. I'd like to make a suggestion because parking is an issue as we said at Glenwood. Quabbin is within the Barry School District, within Barry. That has plenty of parking. Let's try, I would say that should be the primary meeting place. Quabbin, really? Quabbin. There's plenty of room there. Yeah. Parking won't be a problem there at all. Parking won't be a problem there? I know they can fit oh, in excess of a thousand people there. Sounds good. Okay? Okay? Just let everybody know that's our first choice, second choice will be here in Rutland. All right? What day? Okay. So you said three weeks? Three weeks. Give them time. I don't know how to turn your phone back on. All right. March 12th. Works for me. Okay. I'm gone now. We should. <laughs> okay, March 12th or, or March 19th. Either one of those two days. Okay. Okay. All right. We're, we're, we've got the two days. We're going to try to find a venue that will fit everybody. Meantime, I'm going to put DCR in the hot seat. Let them begin the presentation. Um, anybody, I, I don't know. If anybody knows what's going on in the back room over there, or in the hallway, uh, uh, we'll let the DCR begin their presentation, and there's not going to be any comments. We can't take comments. There are too many people here for right now. Um, and we will reconvene our meeting on either the 12th or the 19th. All right. I hear a motion. I motion that we approve the second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Very good. The meeting minutes are approved. Unanimous. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to DCR. Now, again, there are a lot of people in this room. Please, please, please be quiet, be courteous, respectful. Don't interrupt them. You'll have plenty of time to be able to uh, talk with them 
uh, at our later date, whenever that ends up. Okay? Clear? Thank you. Sarah Cohen from PCR. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to speak loudly and briefly. Um, I, am, I work for DCR. I'm not part of the watershed division that manages the wherever watershed lands. I'm a facilitator. I've been asked by the watershed division for the past two years to help uh, the collaboration between DCR and all of you and all of the stakeholders be as productive as possible as they update the Ware River Watershed Public Access Management Plan. That's something that they do roughly every 10 years. Uh, so that has been my role, and that was going to be my role tonight to try to help this meeting be as useful and productive as possible for everybody here. Uh, I was going to explain you know, how we were going to do the meeting to try to accomplish that. One thing that seems clear is there is a lot of fear and a lot of concern, and some of that at least is based on uh, confusion and misinformation, and we were going to try to start off helping everybody understand what's going on, because I think that would help disorient people. And then we were going to give people a chance to uh, share whatever major concerns brought them here tonight, and I was going to work to record that. Um, I, I don't necessarily think it makes sense to do half without the other half, so I think it uh, makes sense for um, us to present on the original very brief item that was on the agenda for tonight, which is an explanation by DCR of the change in the timeline for this plan, uh, and then to have the rest of the information that might help orient people be given at a time that everybody has the benefit of hearing. So uh, our pro I'm proposing as well that we package this together the way it was intended, and, and John um, Scannell from DCR will just explain the new timeline. Okay? Mm -hmm. sure. Thank you. <coughs> uh, my name is John Scannell. I'm the Director of Water Supply Protection for DCR. Um, our initial plan was to um, bring some information to the committee tonight at their, at their regularly scheduled meeting. Um, we've been, as Sarah said, working um, to develop a new plan since uh, about April of 2018. Uh, we recently, the, the agency had a new commissioner appointed in early February. Uh, he has, he's completely unfamiliar with uh, Basically, most of what we do um, in that. water supply protection and absolutely familiar with this, Imagine that. With this plan. Imagine that. Because, hey, please. Because no he is brand new. Um, so what he has done is um, put a hold on, on the whole thing at this point so that he can come up to speed on this whole plan. He is ultimately the person who will approve whatever the, the new plan is. And obviously he needs to be able to understand all of it. So he has asked us to to uh, put a hold on it, and that was going to be our message for um, for the committee tonight. Um, and I think that will be several months, to be honest. Um, the other thing that was addressed quickly by Jeff is we have a plan that's currently in place. It's a plan that's been in place since 2010, and those policies will remain in place until we adopt a new plan. So things will remain as they as they currently are. Um, and, and just to hit on the other thing, Jeff was correct, the roads are closed because it's, it's been a muddy winter. And we close the road, roads in muddy conditions at any time of the year, but certainly winter into spring. They're closed every year. So but again, they will be open. That's the reason. Yeah, we, nothing is going to change until, the, until a new plan is adopted, and then that will be the policy moving forward. Okay. Okay. Yes. You done? Yeah. Uh, well, what is it that uh, your well, boss wants on. to do? We, we, we're going. We are going to ha address questions and everything after after this meeting's over at the next meeting. Please. There are too many people that they can't hear you out here. So, board of selectmen from Rutland wanted to speak. I would. Okay. Is this okay right here? That's fine. Um, thank you. I'd like to thank everybody in the room and the overflow room for coming out this evening. I think it conveys a very important message 
on how this resonates with us about the uh, proposed changes. My name is Jeff Stillings. I'm with the Rutland Select Board, and I speak with the authority of the town of Rutland. I am proud to stand here with my counterpart, Chair Matt Urban, who's the chair of the Barry Select Board. Uh, we are united in our position about being notified of any proposed regulation changes that might affect access to the what we call the prison camps. Uh, recently, our two towns have signed position papers basically st stating that it is the position of the towns of Rutland and Barrie that no changes be made regarding access, lawful access to the prison camps, and we specifically ask that the gates remain open and unlocked. So I would like to present to you this evening the signed position papers of my town, who I represent, and the town of Barrie, who signed that two days ago. In the coming weeks, I look forward to meeting with the towns of Oakham and Hubbardston as the four towns share a, an interest in the watershed in there. Uh, that being said, over the past two weeks, citizen petitions have been generated, and as of this evening, we have reached the capacity of over 1,000 signatures from concerned citizens. I would like to continue to garner the citizen signatures and perhaps present that to the commissioner, and I would uh, like to invite the commissioner to attend the upcoming meeting at the uh, Quabbin. Okay. I, that, that is always open to the commissioner to come to one of our meetings. You, you know that, John, especially. So if you can relay that back to uh, the commissioner, the new commissioner, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so okay. I, wish to, I wish to present um, the position papers of our towns. Okay. Um, sir, and I will hold on to the I will give you a, uh, a copy, a sampling of the petitions that have been generated simply stating that we ask that no change be made to uh, the access, the gate, specifically the gate access to uh, what we call the prison camps in there. So the sampling of it, I will uh, gather the complete 1,000 plus signatures in there. I could PDF it or what have you, but I would like to present that at the next meeting at the quad. Okay? Very so good. Just wanted to relay thank the uh, position of our towns and thank you for coming and welcome to Rutland. Um, you've been, you know, talking with folks, etc. Is the main concern access to the prison camps, or are there other concerns? Um, I can speak for myself as a member of the Rutland Select Board in that we are not okay with pretty much anything that I saw. Um, we're concerned about a lot of the regulations, and speaking for the town, before anything, these type of changes, regulating access, is important to the town, and the town wishes to opine. We want to be able to uh, weigh in before anything. Locking the gate's a big deal to us, is what we're trying to say. Locking up the gate is a big deal to us. So right now, access, yes. Uh, and that's, that's the initial concern. Keep access open for lawful purposes, and then we can explore uh, the other regulations, because I understand that there'd be a hearing prior to doing that. Correct? Oh, yes. Right? That's what we so, understand from DC. But right now what we want to say is, well, the town is not okay with this. Keep the gates open, okay, before you do anything drastic. We need to weigh in. Thank you. Does that answer your question? Did you want to say something? Um, I did. Uh, again, Matt Urban, uh, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen and Barry. Um, I just wanted to expand a little bit on what uh, Mr. Stillings was saying. Um, from our perspective, it, it's we definitely have the same opinion of the prison camps, but the west side of the Ware River is just as important to us. And there's a lot involved there, and it goes beyond just recreational use. There's a lot of historical value in that place, and we actually have a lot of historical tours, so there's a lot more to it than potentially DCR understands from their perspective. So we will also want to continue uh, the opportunity to discuss this at the next meeting. <coughs> okay, very good. And I want to talk to you afterward about getting your representatives back on this committee. Because right now we have one that's, she's historical society. Yes, we are, so, it's on our agenda to get someone. Because to apply Martha to Barnett is, and then Ed Yadlu was holding over until you appointed somebody, and he has since passed away. So. So we you haven't had representation here for at least a couple of meetings now. 
high priority. Thank okay. you very much. I'd like to thank the, the board and the chair for allowing us an opportunity to speak. I know it's yeah. unusual, but thank you. Thank very you good. Any motions from uh, the committee? Yes. One other. One other. Um, Justin, when you go to uh, try and reserve Bobbin High School, one thing we should probably do because it is a large venue, I assume we'd be probably sitting on stage. We should uh, have microphones, et cetera, available to all of us, or at least where we can share. And there needs to be a microphone sort of at the, the front on both, for both aisles so that people can come up and talk. Okay, that would be good. you can't shout out your question yeah. and be heard. Very good. Thank you, Cindy. I just have one question. Uh, will the uh, boat permits still be issued for Long Pond? Because usually that's Nothing, done in... Nothing's going to change... Um, for this year. For policy, as I mentioned. Okay, so the other 50 permits, <coughs> like last year. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything more from the yeah. committee? Yeah, yes. Just, um, okay. Since I'll be leaving, um, I'd like to have um, the committee nominate Brett to the commissioner for taking the at-large seat. Okay. I think I was oh, I knew I saw him somewhere. You're okay with that? Well, I was waiting to see if uh, Senator Gobi was going to define the new position. Yeah. Where, where do we stand, by the way? It, it, it's almost done. It's <laughs> over in House Ways and Names. Okay. Yeah. So eventually. I didn't see her there. It's all right. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> okay. Any other concerns? I made a motion to second it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so any discussion? That, no? Yeah. All those in favor of uh, nominating Brett to be our. Uh, at uh, our at-large committee member. Yeah. Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. You'll have that position. It's a vote. It's unanimous. You'll have that. You'll be uh, at-large at the end of the month. At the end of the month, right? Is that right? And your vote counts. It will. Oh, yeah. Your vote today counts, counts today. Well, today it counts. Too. All right. Do I hear anything more from my committee? Yes, Tom. The R in DCR means recreation. That's a very big point at this meeting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anything more? I just want to make sure the general public knows that the gates are closed now because they've always been closed in the last They didn't just close them because of right. the Right. I'm I hoping they realize that now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Anything more? Do I hear a motion? Motion to adjourn. I hear a motion to adjourn. Second. Cindy seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? We will see you on either the 12th or the 19th.